the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. for all of you. Um, we've had a very busy uh, last few weeks um, in our office. I don't have all the data and statistics to give you today. We still have some outstanding autopsies and uh, toxicologies that were awaiting their uh, outcomes. So I'll have more precise figures for you um, as January rolls into play. I wanted to let you know that. Um, I also have a question. We've got uh, our power cot. We have had a few problems with it, but the gentleman's come down very timely within 24 hours and has gotten it repaired. There's no charge to our county for travel time, uh, replacement parts, or any of his labor. So that's a, a great thing. Um, what I've had or I've been asking for is uh, to get the extended warranty or the warranty extended for the next three years. Um, they've got a package, um, and I think I sent that to you too. I did not have the signatures on that. Um, I spoke with the rep yesterday and got that all taken care of. I'm hoping that we can go ahead and act on that today so it would be on this year's business. As I have money for it this year, I do not have any money for it next year. So I'm hoping that uh, I can read you the claim work and um, I've got her signature and um, that's all ready to be taken care of, if, that's, if that would work. Yeah, and I've got a copy of it right here, a hard copy. And I can get the, uh, read you the claim for that. Um, can we have a hard copy of that then? Yeah. I know we got a lot of laptops. Yeah, I'll give it to you right now. Yeah, a hard copy of that. Yeah. There we go. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, so that's. Uh, it's about $7,400. That's for the next three years. It extends it out. And like I say, there's no cost to the county. They, they do very timely business and to help us. And I'm grateful for that. Uh, they replaced the battery and a motherboard, um, which is highly not likely for something like that to happen on as new a machine as what we have, but um, this will protect us and be at no cost for anything that they do, and they, like I say, they're very timely. So that's 7,400 covers all three years? Yes, all, it's for all three years. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And that's for the power cot and the power load, so it's both, um, both things. Um, and you've got the money to pay that now, and you want to pay that now, and then that'll be good for the next three years. Yes, yes. What happened was I, I was originally taking it out of the equipment account because I felt I didn't, I was ignorant. Um, it was a piece of equipment, but it had to come out of service contracts or contract services. And so uh, we had to create an account for that, so we moved it over. So everything's there waiting and ready to go. Yeah, so the contract start date is 214, so I'm assuming that's when the warranty runs out on the yes. existing. Yes. Uh huh. Okay. And that'll run through February 27th. So, okay, we have the contract strike within the three year uh, preventative contract, I guess, on the cons and the. And the power load? The power load, yeah. For 74, 77.99. Yes. So, if you wish to prove that point. So moved. Second. All favor? Thank you. I, I'm grateful. I appreciate that. Um, let me see. The other thing I wanted to mention is that uh, I'm hoping to attend uh, a workshop coming up next month. Um, I'll be driving back and forth. It's down in Hamilton County. Um, it's on death investigations and some of the different things on that. Um, and I'll have that information to you. Um, also, I've got like a corner training board meeting coming up with the state 
and that's on February 9th. And I have not sent that to you, but I'll send that to you. <coughs> so I'm looking forward to that. Um, we're planning our next conference, which will be in June, and uh, it's always an exciting time and a great time to meet the new young corners and just network and get together and do things. So um, that's all I have for today. But I'm going to thank you again and have a happy new year to everybody. You too, Jerry. Okay. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, John, Highway Department. Good morning. Good morning, I don't have very much. All I have is uh, two permits. Um, they're both from MIPSCO, Mark Thompson. Uh, the first one is uh, permit 2329. Uh, he's asking uh, for a permit to uh, on uh, 3124 Wabash. Avenue of Rochester uh, to go from the corner of Wabash Avenue, east side of uh, west side road, add a gas line, 240 feet, and then the four under the road there. Uh, I looked it over, didn't see any problems with it. All right, uh, we're under west side drive. Okay. Entertain a motion to approve permit 2329. So moved. Second. All in favor? Motion carries 3-0. And then the second one is basically the same thing, uh, but it's at 3018 Colbash Avenue. And uh, they want to go under Westside Drive at that address. Install the gas line. Okay. And this is permit 2330. Okay. Entertain motion to approve permit 2330. I'll move. Second. All in favor? Motion carries through. That's basically all I have for you today. Unless you have anything no. you have to ask us. I'll probably have some more for you Tuesday. I'm good. You good? I'm good. Thank you, John. Appreciate it. You good? Are you good? Is that that's the shortest I've ever been? I know you're good, <laughs> and that's my look at her. Yes, this is. See, I always like the end of the year. Yeah. yeah. You said it, two permits. Yeah. Oh, I do remember the email chain. <laughs> All right. Okay. 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 Nine inmates, and uh, we're looking at changing the foam contract in the jail. So I sent that to Holly, she's good with it, so we're going to probably proceed with that. Um, it's a stellar suit we're going to go with, and they're the same ones that does our commissary, so it just makes sense to get it all under under one company. So I think they're going to do us a little better and revenue generated. So, that's it. I like good. Yeah, go on. I'm just, um, just asking for one of my employees to work remotely, so um, she's out on medical leave for a family member. Just asking for permission for that. And that's it. Uh, I hear a motion to approve the uh, medical leave for one of Dawn's employees. So I'm uh, to work from home. Yeah. yeah. Yes, sir. All in favor? Motion carries. Okay. I'll sign it after it 
You can do either or. They offer it twice a year, which you can go one of the free ones here, or if you're on medication and you go to a, a doctor anyhow to get the medication and make you get a physical, you can bring bring it in and that'll, that'll work also. So are you guys, I'm sorry. I was gonna ask, can we clarify that? Because yeah. what we do here is your, your, your wellness examination. That's technically not a physical. I don't know that's how it's worded, it's a wellness exam. Okay. okay. Well, the wellness so exam. Yeah, okay. Good. I just want to make sure we didn't yes, put a put a, a client yeah. in a situation where <laughs> they think they've got to go in and see somebody instead of doing this here. Yeah. yeah. No. Okay. No. Yeah. So they're they're required to come to one of these things at least once a year. And in, in the event that something happens by schedule or just circumstance and they can't make it to one of the two scheduled ones, um, we will set up a place where they can go to the hospital and get that same work checked in order for them to qualify. Do you want him to read the whole thing or do you, is it okay just to read it by title? It's a Holly question. Read by title. Just read it by title. Is there any question? Look at it. It. They are required to take one of them wellness exams here a year. They, they don't have to do it here, but <clears throat> if you're on medication and you're already getting a physical from your doctor, that'll still qualify. Right. I mean, you know what I'm trying to say. But well, I mean, that's my concern. I think they should be required to do something at least. <laughs> that's help, that help is our insurance rates. that is different though. So when you go in and see your doctor for a, and you've got a medicine, you just need to get an update on or you don't typically just automatically get all that lab work and get your blood pressure, well you my, get your blood pressure. My doctor does, if I'm on blood pressure medicine. So you <coughs> always get that. Blood work, blood work once so a year, that, I've had blood work done once a year. So that depends on what medicine you're on. So that would mean that certain patients, if they're just getting med refills and things like that, they may not be required. What I'm saying is we will make sure that any of those people who don't get to one of these health fairs that still wants to be part of the program, We've got a location right there in the Schaefer building now where um, a nurse practitioner is there and all of the equipment, the laboratory equipment that we use here will be set up and we can get them in there to get that same exact stuff done there if they can't get it done. <coughs> if their doctor already does it, great, you're covered. Yeah. But in the event that they don't have a medicine that they have to get blood work every year, right. okay. then we can make sure it happens. Okay. So then is there going to be a specific form then for you know if somebody would go to the doctor as opposed to the wellness? clinics <laughs> we would have them use the same form yeah yeah we'll distribute that form out to everybody all of our providers so that when you go into the doctor they'll know oh, he's here for this let's go ahead and get that taken care of Perfect. yeah uh, read this right then this also will cover CDL physicals like for John's employees yeah your, your CDL physicals cost is gone now that's just covered as part of the program yeah I know that was something you guys, you guys wanted that, there's so. less thing in the program Correct. If they're not in the program, it doesn't cover it. Yeah. 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 For those people who choose to be in the program and maintain the requirements, right. then CDL physicals would be covered under the program. Okay. Any other questions? I guess, I guess I got a question. Why wouldn't we require people that have CDLs to be in the program? Do we, pay, do we pay for their physicals or do they pay for them? They do, they do. Okay, never mind. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All 
I'm just, I was trying to get into the That's a benefit to entice yeah. the kid into the I, I agree, yeah, that you should have incentives to get into the program. So yeah, I, I agree. But There's also a challenge in, in lots of states right now that you can't force someone. Oh, into these? You can't require programs. every single human being to be in a wellness program. Gotcha. Okay. You can't now. You can offer it, and it's an option, but you can't say everybody does this, or we won't insure you, or we won't pay for it. And I think uh, help me out here, Christine. How do you set that up? There's a sign off on that, right? If you don't want it, you have to sign off saying. Yeah, you either have to accept it or yeah. leave it. Yeah. Good questions. Anything else? Okay. Um, we have a resolution. Uh, one two one eight. Two zero two three. That's a resolution offering help and wellness services to the eligible employees of Fulton County Government. Uh, a motion to approve resolution one two one eight two zero two three. So moved. Second. Any other questions? <coughs> All in favor. Motion carries three. Okay. Woodlawn's contract. This was our agreement that if, if our employees want to use it, this was our resolution. So we have to do that. So, so we have Woodlawn's proposal here for health services and wellness agreement, and that is uh, the thirty-five dollars a month for employees. Correct? Yes. Right. Yes. And, and the council's already. If we sign it, the council's already agreed to pay for it. Yes. One hundred percent. Okay. All right. Any questions about? This proposal. Okay. And then, uh, uh, motion to approve the proposal for services from the hospital. So then, second. All in favor? That motion carries 3 0. Okay. Brad, thank you for showing up and helping us with that. Yeah, no problem. And as okay. things come up, just call and we're going to have situations that just come up where employees maybe join mid-month or something happens and we'll work through whatever we need to. Okay. Sounds good. And this is effective what date? January 1st. <laughs> so, <Okay. laughs> <laughs> That's Tuesday. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's why we had to get it done. Okay. And I'll get together with Christina and we'll figure out a, a rollout plan with some information to the employees and uh, uh, we'll, we'll get them kind of a special card that once you've determined who's enrolled, they'll have a card that'll say Fulton County Wellness and Health Services Program that they can present when they go to the doctor's office. Because, you know, the big part of this is that it saves the employees from having to pay any, any co-pays or deductibles for just an office visit. So we'll get those issued once we get the list of who chooses to be in the program and all that. Yeah, it'll be something similar to that. It's yeah, it's on the back of the, the proposal there. Yeah. We got your contract signed, so I imagine she'll want to make a copy of it, but other than that, get it from her whenever you need it. Okay. Just email me a copy, that's perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Seth, did you have any Okay. We have uh, the I got it's easy. It's easy. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then we have uh, the contract <coughs> for Ritter Services here. It's to uh, uh, help us with the, uh, the Lutheran uh, contract and then to monitor the, uh, the four years of the contract if it does go to Lutheran. So we have a three year, uh, it's a three year contract. Four years. Back. Four years. Do you remember reading that, Holly? That was a four year, wasn't it? It was. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Okay.
Yes, uh, I don't know if you guys are familiar with Charlie Sparks, but he was, uh, for a better word, Fedco for the state of Indiana for many years. He worked in Kokomo for many years. He retired and moved up to the lake, and I know we uh, talked to him on a few projects that's going on from time to time, and Michael's been consulting a little bit, and he made us a proposal to keep him, to, to actually be working from, with us. <coughs> He will be working out of the FEDCO office uh, as a consultant to us. He will be consulting Michael and, and the elected officials. And um, the city is also going to enter into the contract. We're going to split the contract with the city and the county. And it, it is for uh, our, our share is uh, $35,100. Yeah. $35,100 a year in the city. Will, Pay thirty five thousand one hundred dollars, so we can all use him as a, you know he's a proven, been a proven asset bringing business and stuff into town. So we thought we would. Well, my thought is we'll give him a shot and uh, see if we can try to turn something around in here. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Was, did he come speak one time here? About he he has done some uh, Ivy Tech. He's been with the Learning Center and done some. Classes and stuff she for us. Kind of sure. I, mean, I don't think it was the gentleman. Was it was the same one. I think so. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Um, so what? Yeah. That was. Yeah. Was that Chris Harrison? <clears throat> could be. Could be. But uh, so there, there's where we're at. Um, I think Charlie is it correct that he's going to kind of help land the EV plant in, mm -hmm. in Kokomo. Mm -hmm. So he he knows a lot of a lot of people. It's so. The contract here is uh, proposals from January 1st of 24 to December of 25. I don't know if you want to do a two-year contract or have to do it year by year and make sure. Two years for 35,000. Say that again. Is it two years for 35,000? No, 35,000 a year. And yeah. for two years. Yeah. Um, thank you, Bob. Guys, Bryce, did you want to do one year or two years? 
got it two years now. Yeah. Um, I, I would rather, I mean, personally, the, the one year that kind of get black would get started just that. I can understand why he wants two years because if he gets something going, he doesn't want to get dropped in the middle of it. Well, we can also extend it. If he's got something going, yeah. we're, yeah. we're, we're not going to. Yeah. 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 Right. But, but, uh, so I'm good, with, I'm good with the year if that's what you want to do. That works for me. Okay. So, does anybody have any questions on Charlie Sparks and, and what this is kind of about? Um, I guess it all be approval upon you know council council commitment, and I don't know if, if the city would turn it down. You know, yeah. I don't know. Was that in there? I can't remember. That was. In there. I don't think that was in there. I thought uh, I mean, it was if the city proposal. turns it down, then basically. Oh, it does say something about companion components. Yeah, I, I thought yeah. maybe it was in there. So. I would entertain a motion then to uh, accept this proposal from Charlie Sparks for the consultant fee for a one year term uh, pending the uh, council's approval and the city's approval. It's contract. So moved. I'll second. Any other questions? All right. All in favor? Motion carries. $17.83 with a payroll deduction of $41,312.20. Okay, we have the um, uh, PTRC fall settlement of $1,248,850.49. Settlement for the CBET and FIT fines and fees $1,298,097.15. Okay, we have the Council on Aging Reimbursement, number 5311, $78,801. Utilities fourteen thousand nine hundred three dollars and thirty three cents. Got a credit card eleven or uh, twelve thousand two hundred eleven dollars and eighty one cents. And the tourism uh, twenty sixteen thousand one hundred and eighty two dollars. Miscellaneous claims of uh, eight hundred and sixty one thousand three hundred and forty seven dollars and forty cents. Okay. We got 
transfers. Uh, communications for health insurance to the director, two cents. Uh, we have probation, health insurance to PERF, two cents. Commissioners, uh, health insurance per 12 cents. We have a highway, uh, highway uh, from health insurance to per $19.91. Did, did you get a copy of that one, John? Did you get a copy of the where she switched the money around for you so you know to so mess up your budget? I think we'll possibly mess up his budget. He's done with his budget for the year. I imagine we put that in, didn't we? We submitted that, didn't we? Uh, submitted by Christina. Oh. Christina Hospital went through yesterday, so I'm not sure what you submitted or what you submitted. I'm not sure. But this. Okay. Do we have two hours? Was that? Go ahead. No, go ahead. Okay, we have the assessor for health insurance to Perth and deputy, $4.19. Circuit Court Health Insurance to the Court Reporter and Perth at $341.70. Uh, courthouse uh, Health Insurance to Life Insurance at $0.88. Cents. Uh, Court uh, $2, for the Courthouse $2,000 from Elevator Maintenance to Utilities. to utilities. <clears throat> we have uh, from the corner, uh, 600 for autopsy to uh, 600 for mileage. We have the highway mechanic, uh, workers comp to uh, Repair bridge and equipment at seven thousand four hundred and seventy five dollars. <coughs> Commissioners, uh, fifty five hundred from exam records to bonds. And the sheriff, two hundred ninety two dollars and sixty nine cents from health insurance to the deputy. Transfer from the uh, community corrections from health insurance to uh, HSA and for five hundred sixty-seven dollars. <throat> yeah, probation nine hundred seventy-three dollars and twenty-eight cents from the secretary number two to secretary. from uh, communications and these are council what's that say these are all ours workers, yeah. we have uh, communications $200 <coughs> from uh, repair and maintenance to training Election board, six hundred twenty dollars from election monitoring service to uh, inspectors transfer money to pay election workers the original claims and correct fund. Uh, we have the prosecutor's office thirty four dollars from 
computer maintenance software uh, to continue the education. Um, you got the corner, $2,500 from x ray and lab to the deputy corner. You have the commissioner's health insurance. Nine hundred sixty-one dollars and fifty-five cents. It's been a lot. Man. Well, we've got health insurance, nine hundred sixty-two dollars, and help two different funds or the same fund, and nine eighty-five to the IT director and per. Christina, there's one here at the county probation. You yeah, wrote it on here. The appropriation is for $973.20. It says only $892.13 left. How can we do that? It's the same amount as the other one. Yeah, we can do that. We don't have to do that. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know who I think it's ready after the site. You guys wrote it in after that. So I'll only be able to move $892 that's less than the one I said. Commissioners, we have the $962 and $85 from the health insurance to the IT director and the PERF, which is $1,047. Supply five hundred dollars from there to utilities. Okay. You guys have any uh, old business? Just so there's 
something in those two white boxes and they just want an image to it's not close. Okay, I'm so sorry. Have a good day. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Okay. All right. Great. I, I think I'm done. I think I got all my.